Bodies in boxes stacked right on top of each other at a valley crematorium. The state funeral board revoking their license, forcing the crematorium to temporarily close its doors. Team 12's Michael Downa joins us now with the details about this case. Michael? Guys, the state board says the conditions were simply unacceptable. But when I spoke to the owner, he says they were singled out and this was simply how things were done. This unmarked warehouse, the home of Saguaro Valley Cremation in Mesa, where in 2015 bodies were stacked on top of each other in cardboard boxes waiting for cremation. Which we do not consider prevailing standards of the state. Judy Stapley, the executive director of the Board of Funeral Directors and Embalmers, was the investigator back in 2015. And the minimum container of a cardboard box, that's, that's just inappropriate and substandard anywhere, any way you look at it. The stacking, along with a refrigeration issue and others, led to a four-year court battle resulting in three people losing their license and the business forced to close for 30 days. And even though sometimes we may feel there should be a further course of action, the board can only take the action as far as they're legally able to. John Woods, the owner, doesn't deny stacking the bodies in boxes, but he claims it was common practice at the time. He also believes that he and his manager, Frank Lambert, were singled out because the manager's previous business was also shut down for stacking bodies. Stapley says there was no singling out. And as the executive director, she says the rules are in place to help protect and respect the remains of everyone's loved ones. That we want them to know that uh, when they leave their loved one, that they shouldn't have to worry what goes on when the doors close behind them, that they'll be cared for as if they were standing right there. Now that crematorium plans to reopen when the suspension is up later this month and the manager, the one who had his license revoked, is going to likely stay in place even though he won't be able to actually cremate any of the bodies himself. Guys, back over to you. Okay, Michael.